Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to let you know that we have one more item on the agenda today before we close out this wonderful ceremony. And it's not on the agenda because it is a surprise for the first time in the Jimmy Dias uh, committee vote, we have not had a unanimous vote for the recognition of one of our great Americans. And that is because we did not tell him and we did not invite his vote, and that is Perry Smith. So if you all will indulge me on behalf of the entire committee, uh, we're going to add two more names to the Jimmy Dyes Distinguished American Award. We figured it was time to do that. Would you not agree? Come on up here, please. Perry and Connor, let that go. Let that go. You are no longer in charge, Cameron. <laughs> I have never said that to him, but I've been dying to say that to him for years. <laughs> My name is Jeff Foley. I'm a retired Brigadier General. I uh, used to command Fort Gordon, and I am delighted to be, a, to be here, be part of this Jimmy Dias Committee, and be a, have been mentored by Perry Smith for years. And so today, most of you know a little bit about Perry. Please just stand there, Perry, and let us talk about you <laughs> and Miss Connor. You both cannot go away. You get 30 seconds. <laughs> You're not in charge. <laughs> 1956 graduate of West Point, 30 years in the Air Force, distinguished fighter pilot, 180 combat missions in Vietnam. Is the author of four books. He is the Secretary of the Medal of Honor Foundation, as you already know. He is an internationally known speaker and developer of leaders. He has been a military analyst for CNN, the McNeil Lair, and the NBC NewsHour. He was inducted last year, or maybe two years ago, to the Business Hall of Fame here in Augusta. He has had significant contributions to our nation and community since he retired from the Army, or Trump retired from the Air Force. I'm sorry. <laughs> he graduated from West Point, so that was before they had an Air Force Academy. And for those in this town, you know he's had a monumental impact nationally and around the world. But for all those who were born and raised or who live in this town, know everything that he has done for the CSRA and the greater a part of this Augusta community. He has been a member and a prolific fundraiser of a number of boards and organizations, including uh, the National Science Center, this wonderful history museum that we're occupying right now, St. Paul's Church, the Boy Scouts. He helped raise money for the Fisher House, the second Fisher House in Augusta, supporting the VA Medical Center. And he, in his fundraising world, will never ask anyone, as you all well know, to give to any organization that he has not already given to. He is profound in his support to the community, and I will tell you the first time I met Perry was about 24 years ago. I was a colonel in the United States Army attending the National Defense University's National War College. Perry was our guest speaker in May of 1999, and he was speaking on leadership and ethics to a group of 350 men and women of all the services of Lieutenant Colonel or Navy Captain Wright. And at the end of his magnificent session, he had a chart on the, on the screen that said, if there's any ever anything I can do for you, here is how you contact me. Here is my phone number, here is my email, I would be happy to serve. I met him after that, and I asked him a week later for his help. And within 24 hours, he never knew me. He doesn't remember meeting me that day. I'll never forget meeting him. Within 24 hours, he gave me a wonderful, page-long description of ideas and recommendations on what I was going to do when I took over command of a brigade at Fort Bragg. And he sent me a case of his books, and it was a wonderful day, and it began 
the most important mentorship relationship I have had. In my 25 years of then military service and the years since. Perry literally wrote the book on Jimmy Dias and he produced the video. We would not be here at this fourth anniversary of the Jimmy Dias Symposium if it wasn't for Perry Smith. We would not have a Jimmy Dias Parkway. We would not have thousands of men and women around the country and around the world who even know who this guy was, this unbelievable, unique American hero, if it wasn't for Perry Smith. Don't you think his name belongs on this platform? Miss Connor. <laughs> She's probably going to hate me like Ann hates Perry right now. You all know Miss Connor was eight years old when her daddy died. And she has been a stoic and magnificent representative of her father and the Dias family for her entire life. You know, she was raised without that father figure. But she'll always remember, and I read this, she'll always remember some some advice that her dad gave her even when she was a young girl. She was doing her homework. She was struggling. She said something seemed terribly hard to me at the time and I said I could never do this even if I had to. And dad said, Connor, you can do anything if you have to. And that's a memory that she has of her father. She represented the family during the commissioning of the USS Jimmy Dias in 1953 in Savannah. She helped celebrate the 30th anniversary of that commissioning at the Brooklyn Naval Yard. She is a military wife of 30 years, and you all know about military spouses and the sacrifice that they go through, the love and support that they got to have. She raised two wonderful kids, probably mostly on her own, because Perry was always gone. He was always flying. He was always deployed. He was always elsewhere. <laughs> She's a wonderful grandma, very proud grandma. She keeps Perry well-grounded, as we all know. She really is a marvelous, marvelous partner. And I will tell you, whenever you see Perry doing wonderful things in this community, for the last 20 years since they've been back, have you not always seen Connor? Isn't this a wonderful representative of what right looks like in a married life and a married couple who continue to give? And that's all they do is give. And I'm going to quote a wonderful quote that was in Perry's, uh, uh, one of his initial editions of Rules and Tools for Leaders, and it's still in there. And he says, you haven't lived a perfect day till you've done something for someone who can never repay you. Based on that criteria, I would say Perry and Connor Smith have lived thousands of perfect days. Ladies and gentlemen, Perry and Connor Smith. Thank you.